Hello and welcome to Common Farm Flowers. My name is Georgie Newbury and I'm a flower farmer and florist based here between fashionable Broughton and up and coming Wincanton in Somerset. And today is National Meadows Day. So I thought I'd take you for a little tour of what's flowering here in the Meadowlands at Common Farm because as you may know already, our business, our flower farming business, is based upon the premise that if you look after the invertebrates, the rest of the food chain will look after itself. And what better way to look after the invertebrates than to give them lots and lots of forage with wildflower meadows. So the land here is half cultivated and half meadow. Let's go and have a look. Come along. So I'll take you for a close-up look in a minute, but first I thought you might like an overview of this space. I think it's probably maybe half an acre and Fabrizio has been working on it for about 14 years. And when we arrived here, it was just thick grass, rye grass for feeding cattle. And slowly, slowly, he has added different things to make a happy mix. Just beginning to flower here, the purple here, those are knapweed or hardheads. And he grew those from seed and planted them out as plug plants. And then here is my beloved corky fruited water dropwort, which is really colonizing the whole space now and is making this sort of swathe of white buttons along with the oxide daisies, which are also very happy here. There's a little vetch, um, which is just going over, but no, it's not, it's just coming. Um, and that loves it in here. It sort of sews its way through the tapestry. And there you can see, you see the tall orchid? The orchids are just about going over and I don't think he'll kill me. <laughs> he may, this may be the end of our marriage. Anyway, I'm gonna show you anyway. Um, try and tread carefully. But Fabrizio has a theory that orchids, wild orchids, really, really like to grow out of the crowns of devil's bit scabious plants. And you can see here, the devil's bit scabious is the, is the round purple button. And the orchid is obviously the tall, beautiful orchid. And they have grown up together. And so he grew the scabious, again, as plug plants and planted them into the meadow. And since he's done that, when he checks the sward in the early spring, he often finds that the orchids are pretty much growing out of the middle of the scabious. So it's an interesting, if you want to have a go, that might be, this is not scientifically proven, but is a sort of educated theory. Um, what else have we got flowering here? I have to say, I think, that purple and the white together are, are amazing. And underneath it all is here, this is yellow rattle. And you can see it's going over down here. And it's called yellow rattle because the seeds rattle when they're ready. I'll, I don't know if you can hear. <laughs> It doesn't work, but they do rattle. No, you're not going to hear that. Um, and in the olden days, people used to choose the time to mow a meadow when the yellow rattle was ripe. Um, moving on down here, there are, this is a lovely little hawk's bit. It's like a tall dandelion. And that's popping up all the way through the mix. And I'm trying to find my very favourite. <laughs> You're probably thinking, she's saying everything's her favourite. Um, 
and it's popping up a little bit there. Can you just see a tiny spot of orange in there? Uh, that's called Fox and Cubs and that does very nicely here. I'm just trying to find some that I can film more close up and I have a spot here. Um, I love this Fox and Cubs. It very happily settles into this meadow and I love the way at night it goes to sleep, folds up its little head and has a snooze. Oh, here comes tea cake. Hello, tea cake. This is my border terrier, tea cake. She has her own hashtag, tea cake the border. And she always just likes to know where I am and not be too far away. Come on, Twinkle. Come on. There you are. She's very useful because she gives you an idea um, of the scale of the meadow. Border terrier for scale. Anyway, moving on. The blue here, just coming, is Meadow Crane's Bill. I'll go up here and I can show it to you. Again, Fabrizio grew this from seed as plug plants and then planted it out. It's been munched by somebody. Um, but it makes a really lovely blue haze through the mix. It's another one of my top, <laughs> top favourites. But look at the scabious. It's going to be a really good year for it. And there we are. That's what's flowering in the meadow now. And earlier in the year, we've had lots and lots. At the beginning of the season, we had snake's head fertilities, which are really colonizing well now. And then uh, we had obviously buttercups. And I think last time I made a film like this, there were buttercups everywhere. And then through it all grows the yellow rattle there you can see all the seed heads which predates on the grass roots so that the grass is weakened obviously it's still here look at that lovely frothy grass heads there um but it the yellow rattle predates on the roots of the grass which makes it less strong so that the other flowers can get through and and flower, and there are bees everywhere, <laughs> humming, humming with bees. Anyway, that is this lovely tea cake, lovely meadow on the 3rd of July, 2021. If you're interested in creating a meadow for yourselves, then we hold perennial wildflower meadow workshops here in June every year and we haven't scheduled next year's yet but do keep it on the website and there are some wonderful books out there about making meadows um christopher lloyd's classic book about the meadows at dixter is a great inspiration to fabrizio and might be of interest and if you're looking for seed for wildflower seed then we use two suppliers, one called Emmors Gate Seeds and one called Habitat Aid, um, both of which source extremely responsibly the seed and are incredibly helpful if you have questions about what seed you need for your particular kind of land. So do get in touch with them if you'd like to order seed. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it interesting. Uh, if you're enjoying our videos, please do subscribe. The button is down here somewhere. And uh, press the bell icon and you'll be told when we have new videos coming out. Thanks very much for joining. And I will see you again soon here at Common Farm. Bye.